Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In today's video we are on the death knight. Some of you wanted to see what changes have happened to him and some of you wanted to see a doom build. So I thought well death knight has doom so let's put the two into one and make a doom build on the death knight. But before that let's just go over some of the changes. One of the biggest things is we all know death knight is unable to use dash. So if you have a look in his skill tree on this side over here by the power the movement speed because it is red it is whenever you cast any skill you have five percent chance to gain haste haste increases the movement speed modifier by one percent so really really cool is that he now gains a passive uh, movement speed from just using skills or at least you have a chance to gain it next we've got a couple of things his weapons we've got doom nature swing and us that's what the the indicators are on the side over here this one is swing just in case you were wondering so again it's shadow or doom excuse me nature and then us and if we have a look at the skills we got obliterate which is now doom and finesse we've got ray of doom which is still just doom he now on his poison weapon has lethal blade which causes enemies to explode causing damage to nearby enemies if they are in afflicted with poison and then uh, contagion is now similar to uh, purging slam as well as a shadow grasp was uh, now the old reap where it dealt the percentage of doom instantly where reap has now slightly been changed and then we've got a whole bunch of different uh, doom skills We've got Shadow Spark, which is damage per stack of Doom. So today we're going to be playing with all of the Doom skills and see what happens. So in, able to, in order to do that, we do have improved Reparatory. We're going to run Synergetic because I couldn't really think of a really better rune to run. But you can run anything. Other builds to run on him would be Bulwark. And then you can run yourself War Tank because he doesn't have a dash and then you're going to increase the amount of block you gain by 50%. So that's actually a really good strategy on the Death Knight. But let's get straight into it. Uh, onto a 37 curse over here. There's no reason to go... I mean, we could go up higher a bit, but I don't really want the armor and that on there. So we just run it at 36, so then we don't really have to worry about Lifeless Void at all as much. And let's get into it. All right, so we did start off with Weapon Expert. We do have Battle Proficiency. It is one of the new runes that you unlock with the Monkey King. Uh, what it does is every time you cast a skill, you have 10% chance of uh, gaining prowess. And prowess is going to increase the damage modifiers by 3% for six seconds. So the more cast frequency we gain, the more we are going to actually deal a damage because we are going to be able to get more and more and more uh, prowess. So because we're playing a Doom skill, we do want to grab Fateful Strikes. Uh, I do like the Expansive over here, so we are going to lock it. Uh, but getting that increased Doom uh, on every attack is going to be fantastic for when we've got our a Shadow Grasp or our Shadow Spark. Uh, I still am not convinced on whether or not we're going to be getting ourselves the Shadow Grasp. But, uh, I mean, yeah, Shadow Grasp. But we'll see how it goes. Also, there's no real point in cornering as much anymore. I mean, we can, but uh, uh, if you have the pillars on, you are going to want to go and focus on those pillars. Uh, increase the damage of every Doom you apply. Increase by 60%. That is a massive increase. Uh, buy that just for an uncommon one. Uh, increase the credit. We're not going to worry about the Ebon Knights, so we're not going to grab that. We'll just grab a Magnetic just so we can get that little bit of extra XP that we otherwise wouldn't get. We're going to lock this because we're going to take Shadow Vault and the Death of Vortex. We do gain Aptitude now as well. Uh, aptitude is going to be that the increases uh, it increases the critical damage modifier by 16% for 6 seconds. So we actually do get quite a lot of uh, crit damage now. So we'll, we'll see what we can get going from there. Maybe Synergetic will come in uh, handy for us, but uh, we'll see. I don't think we need to worry about Tactical Advantage or Battle Stance. Uh, uh, they are very, very strong. Sometimes they are very, very good to go for, but because we're just demoing a bunch of skills, it's not really going to make that much of a difference if we grab it. And then we're going to grab a bit of the movement speed. I think going for area of effect for this will be very good. But I'm actually going to go with the doom uh, attacks, of course, because we want as much doom as possible. 
There is a Void, a long lost skill that no one really plays with anymore. I don't know why, guys. We, we need to play with Doom. I mean with Void. Alright, Cast Frequency. Area of Ray of Doom doesn't really affect it that much, so we're going to go with Cast Frequency over here instead. Hold down right click because we were using Auto Aim, but we do want our... Uh, Shadow Bolt to go and hit enemies and now we actually have two different skills we can go and grab we can either grab sh uh, Well, we actually do need two other skills. So we might remove one or two of them These are the two skills I actually want to grab so we're gonna lock shadow orb I think we're gonna land up getting rid of the death vortex I really think shadow orb will be better and then shadow spark instead or we can get rid of the shadow grasp uh, or void Void is so weak they're so weak. We'll get rid of Void. A 12 second cooldown on the skill. No, thank you. Alright, increase the damage of every Doom you apply. Yes, please. Uh, we do have auto level on. I must turn it off now, though. But, uh, I don't know. I think I quite like it. There's nothing really to dodge. It's not like I can dodge on the Death Knight. Uh, but I've just been playing with it and I've actually been liking it. Because a lot of the time I actually forget that I can level up. So... <laughs> that happens. Shadow Grasp doing 360% of the doom that it applies now. That is a massive one. You can see there's also the Void Hunter that is the Monkey King now that is available to whack you with. So you do have to just be careful of him as well. Uh, not going to worry about a Death Vortex. So we are actually... Yeah, I don't really want the damage to be higher on this. This is just used for purely stacking doom. Maybe there's another skill we can take instead. Let's see what happens. Alright, increased area of effect of skills. Uh, yeah, we'll do it. It's Shadow Grasp that we're looking for. It will be interesting to see if Shadow Grasp or Shadow Spark deals more damage. Uh, of course, we do have to take into account how long we had them active. Uh, before the uh, we look at the full numbers as well because that does affect how much damage it does compared to each other so um nothing over here path of dk would be really good with doom uh he does get heart rending strike now which is bulwark and finesse so again going for the uh swing skills with uh finesse and bulwark are going to be really really strong for him uh, this one's okay. So the battle stance one is alright, like I mentioned. We're not going to go for tactical advantage because it's a far away enemies. Because we are close, we don't want to do that. We're going to increase the crit chance of all skills that are not swing skill. So that's actually very good because most of my skills aren't. And we get about a 16% crit chance increase over there. So again, you don't really have to necessarily focus about crit itself. But you do have to focus about certain stats when you are doing this. So there are lots of ways to increase your stats. Uh, I also believe that's one of the reasons why uh, something like Crit Mastery was nerfed uh, quite heavily. Is because there's so many ways for us to get a lot of crit now without actually using crit. So there's actually been builds where I've landed up getting over 300% crit chance without even taking a single crit node. Uh, or ruin or anything like that so very 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 possible to do a lot of damage over there uh, over here we'll go for the mult it's legendary guys we got to we got to do that multicast on the skills fine because that's going to allow us to apply more doom stats stacks not stats all right let's increase the damage of the shadow spark it's dealing a thousand damage with 51 per stack of doom that's with taking into consideration that maybe Shadow Grasp doesn't get rid of their stacks. And then hopefully we'll get the rare option that allows us to convert uh, Doom to instant damage immediately. There is an option. Uh, I'm not seeing anything there. I'm not going to worry about it. So we're going to go and increase our crit chance again over here. And then we can also lock this for increased damage to swing. That's perfectly good. Oh, that was cool. It's so nice seeing Shadow Swing happen. The only problem is Shadow Swing is not very good in terms of uh, moving enemies uh, in the late game. So because it uh, has an effect where it pulls enemies uh, that in a large area towards you, uh, enemies do get a lot more 
what's the word I'm looking for, they do get a lot more uh, mass as you progress in the overlords and because of that you won't always be able to pull them and that's actually a good thing because I don't think you really want to pull enemies into you as you're going into higher overlord otherwise you're going to land up getting yourself killed by them or something you know especially if they melee there you are trying to run away and then you use your skill and they're all on top of your head uh, that's just not really good at all for us so you know it's cool that that happens we're not going to grab impending doom i actually do want a lot more cost frequency over here that's going to help us a lot more doom application as well and then we do have our shadow orb with disoriented as well which is crit as well crit damage so fantastic little setup over here i haven't pushed it very far at all uh, actually i just uh, kind of woke up today and i was like uh, people have been wanting to see doom I did try it on another character, there is another character that has a really nice Doom build, uh, but I thought, you know, someone mentioned that they want to see the the Death Knight, so why not try it on him and see what happens, and you can see already just over 5 minutes, so it's not the fastest build, but it is pretty decent, and we're pretty safe, I mean we don't even need dodges, as you can see. Alright, increase the damage of every Doom you apply, that's perfect. Uh, what that does is now when you your your dooms applying more damage so that means that something like shadow grasp when we instantly apply 510 percent of that damage it's going to be doing a lot more damage over there so we do want the cost frequency but we're going to take the actually we'll do it the other way around oh. i don't know if i misclicked there or if i clicked and it didn't work maybe because we were on zero locks Okay, lock that, we'll take the area of obliterate. So this is not an optimized build, uh, because we are doing something like Doom only. If you wanted optimized builds, you do have to take a whole bunch of different buffs, at least uh, two buffs uh, of each type, and then synergetic, or whatever the case is, and then try and uh, move them around and see where they go. So uh, a good case there you would need two skills with Bulwark, two skills with Finesse, two skills with uh, Aptitude and so on and so forth and that way you are going to be able to get as many, oh, oh I misclicked over there, uh, you are going to be able to get a lot of those uh, upgrades that make it go from like Finesse to Bulwark or whatever the case is. I don't know the exact uh, rotation of all of them just quite yet but uh, I hope you understand what I'm saying so there are going to be passives that give it like you have a chance to apply um, form uh, whenever you apply bulwark I don't know that's just an example and uh, therefore every time you take one of those you increase the amount of form you're able to apply and so on and so forth but you can uh, get to a full rotation although it is extremely difficult uh, and I don't know I mean, you, you can try as much as you like and let me know if you're able to do that ever when the update drops or, or if you're playing on the alpha, but uh, it is very, very difficult to get. But if you're talking about like optimized builds, those are the builds you need because these buffs that you get are going to give you insane stats and the more buffs you have and the more stats you have, the stronger you are going to be. So it just makes sense doing that, you know, so that's what you need to do. All right, he's running on our head. Luckily, he doesn't do that much damage. He should be dead right now. There we go. Fantastic. And then let's see which skill dealt the most damage. And then right at the end there, we get the skill chain of Shadow to Swing. Oh, man, that would have been really, really good to have got a lot earlier. So you can see if you do go into Endless or Overload, uh, Overlord, sorry, you will be doing a lot more damage because you're going to get uh, the skills like swing, uh, skill chain, and things like that. Also, uh, I, I don't know why, but there seems to be a tooltip bug over here where the, the skill chain said we get 8%, but over there it's saying we've got 7%. But I'm sure it's just a tooltip bug, uh, nothing too major, won't really uh, stop us. So there you go, you can see Death Vortex actually doing quite a lot of damage and we never even upgraded 
the damage for the skill. We weren't really worried about the damage too much, but uh, there you go. You can see the critical damage chance was at 48%. Uh, that's really cool as a stat thing now that you can see the crit damage chance. Uh, that was because for all the swings that we had, it increased the damage uh, on the other uh, skills. And because we had two swing skills, it gave us 48% crit chance. Um, and that's really cool. So it helps them deal a bit more damage. Uh, Shadow Spark, Death Vortex, and Shadow Grasp dealing a decent amount of damage. Uh, of course, if you have Shadow Grasp, I don't think Shadow Spark will do a lot of damage because you are removing the stacks of Doom. Maybe getting something like Battle, uh, not Battle, getting yourself some Blade Vortex or uh, Blade Vortex, uh, Blade Storm, or the Blood, uh, that new Blood skill that throws out the blades and it spins is also very good. Just something that's got a low cooldown that's going to apply a lot of doom for you will work really, really well with Shadow Grass. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember, keep safe, survivors. Until next time, cheers.